In today's episode, we'll be discussing the new supply and turret balance changes, announcing the date of tankers' meetup in Krasnodar, and we'll also be talking about the recent esports news. Hello, tankers! It's always like this. A week without an episode and suddenly there's tons of releases. Let's discuss the latest update. Firebird was slightly weakened in M0, M1 and M2. The turret was too powerful on the low and medium ranks. With Vulcan, the situation was difficult. On the one hand, it became cooler. The range, the damage and the time until it overheats were improved. On the other hand, Vulcan's turret rotation speed and how fast the barrels spin up before firing were slowed down. These changes were made so the turret would become more effective at long range and less effective in close combat. And thanks to the increased time before the turret overheats, it's now possible to use Vulcan on any hull. Enesida now grants more battle score points for healing, so using it skillfully to heal teammates can now earn you first place in battles. Now the new XT skin, Titan, looks way expensive and sweet. It can be bought in the shop or found inside containers. The choice is yours. And the last new feature from Tuesday. New supply drop, nuclear energy. More than a month before the release, tankers were guessing. What's with the new drop zone? But many guessed right from the start. And you can find an article on Wiki about how the new supply works. A proper use of nuclear energy will highly increase the chances of your team winning. Esports news. TOF Dream Team has entered its final stage. Eight teams are left, and only one clan will become the champion next week. Grand Final will be played next Friday, August 31st. Follow the news. In solo TOF, a couple of surprises happened. In Thunder competition, a tanker with the nickname BU25 won against one of the favorites, Evo, who is known for his accuracy. And in solo Ricochet, a player with the name, wait for it, Ricochet beat player Force, the winner of Ricochet Tournament from last year and the winner of TOF Hammer. Tune in to the streams and participate. TOF Tandem is coming soon. On Tuesday morning, the Star Week began. It's something like a six-day crazy weekend with Star's mechanic from the last war. Earn stars, get prizes. You will get rewards instantly by reaching the required number of stars. In the end, you can earn 700 stars to get 15 containers and the animated paint Fall Leaves. And so it's more fun to earn the stars, we have started the traditional summer sale. During the sale in the game, you can find increased drop rates for gold boxes, double battle funds and discounts. Today, Friday, there's a sale in the shop, 30% off. On Saturday, discounts in the garage. Don't miss your chance to save. And on the last day of the week, there will be discounts on micro-upgrades. Upgrade your new purchases. In the future, we've decided not to use the mechanic of old crazy weekends with kills. Now such events will be tied to stars. We'll think about how long the events will be. Two or three days, a week, like now, or maybe something else. Tanky and Krasnodar. It's time to reveal the full details of the meetup and share everything that happens before the event. So the meetup will take place September 8th in Krasnodar, and it begins 10 a.m. UTC. We expect it to last for 5 hours, and here's what awaits all guests at the event. Traditional part with questions for the developers. You're asking, we're answering. Quizzes for knowledge of the mechanics and history of the game. Party time. Talk to like-minded tankers. The weather is promising to be good. Forecasts never lie. And tons of cool prizes. For this event, we have partnered with Canyon and their cool gaming gadgets, and also Prestigio Brand, who prepared several tablets like these for giveaways, plus souvenirs from Tanky. To summarize, it's gonna be hard to leave without a prize. Moving along, Tanky and Krasnodar kit. Very good offer for three reasons. First, the kit itself is good and has a cool paint. Second, special fund. Each purchased kit will increase the final prize pool by 20,000 crystals. At the end, we will run a giveaway among tankers who bought the kit. Third bonus is for everyone who comes to the meetup. Each tanker at the event will get a random prize. A tanky t-shirt, a gadget from Canyon, or even a tablet. The kit will be available for purchase starting tomorrow, on Saturday, August 25th, and will be removed from the shop on the meetup day. You can watch how the prize pool grows on the special site. Crystals will be given away on September 13th. Video of the week. In the last episode, we asked you to record a video about how cool you play with the new Firebird. You've sent us a lot of videos, and here's the best one.
for the next episode, record a video with Vulcan and wear the blue paint. Good luck! That's it for today's episode. Don't miss the Star Week and the Summer Sale discounts. Bye! In the last episode, we showed you an element of some equipment in the game, and you had to guess where it came from. The right answer is, it's the lid from Isida M2. Let's welcome the winners, 10 tankers chosen randomly from those who answered correctly. And today's question is this.